Ravi Judy, lifeguards are about to go off duty for the day here at 12th Street Beach, and several of them likely saved the life of at least one swimmer today. Witnesses say people, two people ignored the warnings here on the beach and dove in to dangerous conditions. Helicopters hovered and rescue divers dove into Lake Michigan, desperately searching for a man who'd gone under. Bystanders and young children on the beach watched in horror from the shore as they saw two people dive in and not resurface. I realized that two people were drowning over there and then people were trying to get the lifeguard's attention. We were like, oh God, they're drowning. There's, there's people actually drowning. So then we finally get like lifeguards to come over. They save one person but they can't find the other. Witnesses say lifeguards quickly found one of the swimmers, but by then the man appeared to already be in bad condition. They were reviving him in the water and then they brought him to shore and then trying to revive him again. That's when trained rescuers began searching beneath the surface, mostly focused around the break wall just south of the planetarium. Even the rescue boat bobbed violently on the waves. They took a too long to go out there and rescue the person, and I should have went over there and rescued him myself. But they said, don't go in the water, don't go in the water. By the time rescuers pulled the second man from the water, it appeared to be too late. All the while waves crashed on the shore, lifeguards stood at attention, and red flags flew flapped in the wind, warning beachgoers not to be deceived by the summer day. The rip current in Lake Michigan is life-threatening. There is no swimming allowed on Chicago beaches once lifeguards go off duty. The red flags are still flying, warning swimmers not to get in the water. But lifeguards want to emphasize, along with rescuers, that despite the sun, the conditions are dangerous. The waves are high, and it's the rip current that could really get you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.